I'm like, if I do some strength training every day, even if it's 10 minutes at a time, at least I'm going to move the needle. Can you talk about, is that a reasonable strategy? And then how I might do more? Absolutely. Can you, yeah. can you make me do more, please? Uh, well, here's some of the science. So we, at around 30, we had our peak bone density and our peak, peak muscle mass. And that's a little sad. Like I didn't start strength training until I was 41. So at, at, in the 30s, that's when it was at its peak. And as we age, we lose uh, more muscle mass every decade. <laughs> and so mm. at, during this menopause, this is like this beautiful time period where our body is liter literally rewiring. We're losing our estrogen, we're losing our progesterone. We are chemically different on the inside. And when we're transitioning into menopause, this is the time like where we lose even more muscle mass. And so if that is enough to like, oh, I need to do this for myself, like it's for your health. Yeah. Um, you know, strength training, their health benefits would include more muscle mass, so strength and confidence and all those things that are amazing, but also bone density. That's also a benefit from strength training. But here's another one that you might not realize, it's uh, actually blood sugar control. So the more muscle you have on your body, think of it as like sugar suitcases. <laughs>